This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, yesterday I did a video about Dr. Stella Emanuel, Donald Trump's ostensibly favorite hydroxychloroquine doctor as of late. Someone he retweeted videos about that were tweeted by Michael Flynn, the disgraced general, Michael Flynn's brother. Prager U has retweeted videos. Breitbart featured her. And these videos have subsequently been removed by Twitter and Facebook for violating their terms of service related to conspiracy theories and dangerous information related to the coronavirus. So... Before, well, first of all, if you want to watch the video, here's the thumbnail. Uh, it was just yesterday's video. You go to my channel, click on videos, and there's the thumbnail. So uh, I wanted to remind you some of the things that this woman, this doctor, believes. That uh, alien DNA has been put into humans to create hybrids or transhuman creatures that demons enter the human body, and that uh, gynecological issues and endometriosis can, is, is caused by having dreams where you're having sex in them, where demons enter you and cause physical illness. That uh, they, whoever they are, are creating containers for demons to hold them, I look like a Ghostbusters kind of a thing, I guess. She rambled on and on about the homosexual agenda and how gays are litigious and they'll take you to court just for holding different beliefs, comparing them to, to liars and thieves. That we don't have liar pride parades or thieve pride parades. Why do they have gay pride parades? Um, she, <laughs> she, she contends that the magic eight ball, the, the children's game with the little floaty thing inside of it is witchcraft, psychic witchcraft. Yoga teachers are d demon evangelists. Uh, men, <clears throat> I didn't play this video yesterday, but she, I, I, I saw in there that, uh, a part of her sermon where she was contending that men are programmed to be in charge. Uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toys are demonic, as, as you probably would guess. So are Harry Potter and Twilight, also demonic. So anyway, Donald Trump tweeted, retweeted a video of this woman, this doctor, and she is touting the glory and the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine, a drug which the FDA has rescinded authorization to use in emergencies for treatment of COVID-19. Because of the likelihood, uh, albeit low or high, but there is a likelihood of damage that can be done when you treat that particular disease with this drug. Yes, it's a drug that's been used for decades for malaria, for lupus, for arthritis, yes. But certain drugs, when you have a certain condition, react differently on the body. So he brought her up. Donald Trump has, he ceased doing his, his coronavirus briefings at the White House, but he has since picked them up the last few days. Yesterday's was about 27 minutes, 26 and change. And for almost 16 minutes, Donald Trump rambled on in a written prepared statement and took questions for only 10 minutes. And you'll see him run away at the end, but he brought her up. Donald Trump brought up. Stella Emanuel. He doesn't say her name, but that's who he's talking about in this clip. To it, there was a group of doctors yesterday, a large group that were put on the internet, and for some reason the internet wanted to take them down and uh, took them off. I guess Twitter took them off, and I think Facebook took them off. I don't know why. I think they're very respected doctors. Uh, there was a, a woman who was spectacular in her statements about it, uh, that she's had tremendous success with it. And they took her, they took her voice off. I don't know why they took her off, but they took her off. Maybe they had a good reason, maybe they didn't, I don't know. I can only say that from my standpoint, uh, and based on a lot of reading and a lot of knowledge about it, I think it could have a very positive impact 
in the early stages. And I don't think you lose anything by doing it, other than politically, uh, it doesn't seem to be too popular. You know why? Because I recommend it. When I recommend something, they like to say, don't use it. First of all, he has a lot of knowledge about it. He's done a lot of reading about hydroxychloroquine. Donald Trump can't even read maybe the most important thing uh, on his daily schedule, which is his, his daily intelligence briefing. Unless his name is mentioned in it, he doesn't read it. That's why we're in the situation we are relative to Russian bounties on the, the heads of American soldiers in active duty in Afghanistan. Because Donald Trump doesn't read his briefing. He doesn't read. We've watched him give speeches where he's reading from a teleprompter and he doesn't have a grasp, a firm grasp of his native tongue, English. But this large group of doctors, which is a handful of doctors, that were put on the internet and then the internet decided to take, the internet decided, the internet wanted to take him down. Does he not know the internet isn't a person? It is, it is exceedingly frustrating that we live in a time when it's almost 2021 and the President of the United States is an abject dummy, a barely functional human being relative to his cognition. I'm unconvinced that he ties his own shoes. And he's touting Stella Emanuel as spectacular in his view. The alien DNA demon lady is spectacular. Well, at the end of the press conference, Caitlin Collins from CNN asked specifically, he brought her up, he brought up, uh, Stella Emanuel, he, so Caitlin Collins asked specifically about her. The woman that you said was a great doctor in that video that you retweeted last night said that masks don't work and there is a cure for COVID-19, both of which health experts say is not true. She's also made videos saying that doctors make medicine using DNA from aliens and that they're trying to create a vaccine to make you immune from becoming religious. Well, maybe it's the so, same, maybe it's not, but I, I, can't, I can tell you this. That. She was on air along with many other doctors. They were big fans of hydroxychloroquine. And I thought she was very impressive in the sense that from where she came, I don't know which country she comes from, but she said that she's had tremendous success with hundreds of different patients. And I thought her voice was an important voice, but I know nothing about her. Masks don't work. Yeah, go ahead, last week, you said masks. Last week, well, real quick. Last okay. week, you said Thank masks. you very much, Thank everybody. <laughs> That's another one. A vaccine to keep people from becoming religious. <laughs> Idiot. And Donald Trump, the president of the United States of America, is retweeting her, ostensibly promoting her, giving her a vouch. And then at the end there, that was the White House feed from YouTube. The C-SPAN feed didn't cut away. Look how this thing ended with Donald Trump retreating into the West Wing like the coward he is. ...of different patients, and I thought her voice was an important voice, but I know nothing about her. Masks don't work. Yeah, go ahead, Paul. Last week, you said go masks. Ahead. Last week, well, real quick. Last okay, week, you said thank masks. you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Running away. Listen, listen, Donald Trump, listen. If Stella Emanuel is all that you say she is, if she is spectacular, and she's not a batshit nutter, then you should be able to stand there and, with, and withstand the scrutiny of simple questions about the veracity of the person you're retweeting on Twitter to your 83 some thousand million uh, uh, followers. Instead, you run away because it is indefensible. She's a whack job. Birds of a feather, am I right? And then it ended this way. Well, actually, that is the way it ended, obviously. But prior to that, I didn't want to, to, to let this video go without talking about this. And that is the fact that Donald Trump clearly is obsessed 
with popularity. He is obsessed with ratings. He is obsessed with his polling numbers. And John Roberts from Fox News asked a question about uh, Dr. Fauci's opposition to the use of hydroxychloroquine. And Donald Trump went off in this tangent about Fauci's popularity, whining and complaining about how popular Anthony Fauci is and Dr. Birx is versus himself and little poor little Donald, not quite as popular. John, please. Uh, on that note, Mr. President, last night in tweets that were deleted by Twitter, uh, you said that Dr. Fauci misled the country about hydroxychloroquine. How so? No, not at all. I think I don't even know what his stance is on it. I, I was just, you know, he was at the uh, he was at the task force meeting a little while ago. Uh, I have a very good relationship with Dr. Fauci. You know, it's sort of interesting. We've listened to Dr. Fauci. I haven't always agreed with him, and that's, I think, pretty standard. That's okay. Uh, he did not want us to ban our this this put up the ban to China when China was heavily infected, very badly. Wuhan. Uh, he didn't want to do that, and I did, and other things. And he told me I was right, and he told me I saved tens of thousands of lives, which was generous, but it's, uh, you know, I think it's fact. Then I banned, I did the ban on Europe. Uh, but I get along with him very well, and I agree with a lot of what he said. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting. Uh, he's got a very good approval rating, and I like that. I, it's good. Because remember, he's working for this administration. He's working with us, John. We, we could have gotten other people. We could have gotten somebody else. It didn't have to be Dr. Fauci. He's working with our administration. And for the most part, we've done pretty much what he and others, Dr. Birx and others, who are terrific, recommended. And he's got this high approval rating. So why don't I have a high approval rating with respect, and the administration, with respect to the virus? We should have a very high, because what we've done in terms of uh, we're just reading off about the masks and the gowns and the ventilators and numbers that nobody's seen and the testing at 55 million tests we tested more than anybody in the world i have a graph that i'd love to show you I'm, perhaps you've seen it where we're up here and the rest of the world is down at a level that's a, just a tiny fraction of what we've done in terms of testing so it sort of is curious a man works for us with us very closely dr fauci and dr burks also highly thought of, and yet they're highly thought of, but nobody likes me. It can only be my personality, that's all. Why don't I have a high approval rating? It must be my personality. No, Donnie boy, it's because you're a liar. It's because you are fomenting division between the United States and its people. You are, you are touting conspiracy theories encouraging people not to wear masks in the middle of a global pandemic where 150,000 Americans have died in the course of like four months. Twice the number that died during the entire Vietnam War have died in four months on your watch. That's why you're not popular. You don't have a consistent message based in science. It's all about you. It's not all about Dr. Fauci. He cares about the American people. He cares about the pandemic. He cares about putting this thing behind us. He cares about doing his job. You don't. Because you are a madman and a loser. And come November, we will be rid of you. Anyway, I would love to know what you think. 714-576-4054. Email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear from you. I do listen to every uh, voicemail and uh, read every email. I almost reverse those. Um, the other thing is if you are in a financial position to do so and you are interested in supporting my work, you can do so right here on YouTube. Click the join button down there. You can become a channel member for fewer than $2 a month. Every little bit goes a long way. If I'm able to marshal even one or 2% of the size of my audience to become a $2 member, I would be completely unencumbered from all of YouTube's arbitrary and ridiculous, sometimes inexplicable rules about what is not just eligible for monetization, but also restricted videos that don't get to see the audience because whatever reason. Anyway, I love you guys. I sure do appreciate you engaging with my content, moving the conversation forward. Uh, I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.